Hi folks, my name is Ian Baker. I'm the product specialist here at American RV. Today I have the absolute pleasure of going over the Sport Trek 327 by Venture RV. As you'll see through the tour as we walk around the outside and also go inside, it has a lot of features and amenities that make this one of my new favorite bunkhouse trailers. All right, let's go ahead and start up front. One of the things you'll notice here is we're gonna have a power tongue jack, all right? Um, if you currently have a trailer and you hook it up and unhook it, you know that there's a lot of cranking involved. But the power tongue jack makes life a lot simpler. You just flip, turn it on, goes up, down, has a little light in case you're hooking up at night, all right? Makes life nice and easy for you. We have our uh, propane tanks here, okay? It's gonna have a, your propane cover so you, it hides those unsightly tanks. And then also here, we're gonna have the diamond plating, all right? Uh, the diamond plating is gonna help against any kind of rocks or anything that get thrown up. That way it's not gonna damage your nice pretty fiberglass here. This diamond plating is gonna take the brunt of any damage. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at our storage. All right, it's gonna be a very large pass-through storage on here, okay? As you can see, it's gonna be finished on the flooring. One of the things I do want to mention, we do have a light in here, okay? Also, there's gonna be a switch. What this switch does, you can turn this on and off, all right? It's really tough to see in the video. In fact, I know you won't be able to see it during the day, but there's actually lights, okay, on each jack and underneath the steps, all right? So that way, if you are hooking up or unhooking at night, you can see the jack and see what you're doing. And also, you can just leave that on. It gives kind of a cool ground effect and helps you see your steps at night. Now when we were looking in there you may have saw a hose and you thought Ian what's that for? Normally I would have tucked that away but I wanted to show you that it was there. That's going to be for winterization. Okay? Uh, to winterize the unit you just take that, put it in your bottle of glycol, turn on the water pump and it'll circulate it through. All right. Above me is something that they added, okay, that I absolutely love. These are gonna be upgraded awnings. They're gonna be carefree of Colorado. All right, these awnings, a couple neat things about them. One, it's literally a touch of a button. You don't have to hold this for it to go out. You touch it, it rolls out by itself, all right? So you can touch it, walk outside, it'll roll out right above your head. Also, the arms are gonna be up top instead of coming out the side walls. So that way I have all this space. All right, I'm, I'm not getting boxed in by anything. I have all this space here. Also, as you can see, this one is gonna be attached to the slide out, okay? That way it comes out, doesn't have to go over the slide, comes right off the slide, I love that. You will have LED lights in here, and these will have a wind sensor as well, okay? Right now it's a little windy, but not windy enough to trip it, but when it does, uh, it'll actually roll itself right back up. Now, if you are gonna be camping on a beach and you, know, you don't want that to happen, you can, of course, shut it off, but it is a great feature. That way you can leave the awnings out, walk away. You don't have to worry about your awning getting damaged. As we look here, moving into the coach, this will be the, the main entry into it. Okay, you have three steps, nice big grab handle here. Again, like I mentioned earlier, there will be a light underneath the steps, so that way you can see it at night, okay? We have our slide out here. Again, the awning comes off of that. And then in the back of the coach, okay, check this out. Now that is an outside kitchen. Okay, we have our outside kitchen and entertainment center all built into one. We can pull this out. We're gonna, we have a sink here. Uh, our, our attachment just goes right in here for our faucet. All right, nice and simple. Two stove burner. We're gonna have a mini fridge here for all our drinks. Got an ice maker, all right? You gotta have some ice. Uh, here we're gonna have our multimedia center. So this is gonna be a CD, DVD player uh, here, okay? It'll play a radio, pop a DVD in, you can watch it here. Got a couple nice speakers, all right? And then you have storage on either side. Like I say, that is a great outside kitchen. Sit around that, watch the game. Man, camping doesn't get much better. Here we're gonna have a ladder to get up on the back, all right? This just folds down, snaps in right here. And then it's also gonna come with a bike rack, okay? That's gonna be a big deal for a couple reasons. One, it's gonna be very nice to have. Okay, even if you don't use the bike, if you don't use it for bikes, this can fold down, you can still use it for any kind of cargo you wanna put on it. Two, in order to have this installed from the factory, okay, they actually have to upgrade the frame. So this has an upgraded frame on it, which is gonna be stronger and sturdier to be able to hand, handle the extra torque this bike rack is gonna put on it. The other nice thing about it, it's not gonna void your warranty, all right? A lot of times you attach something to the bumper, voids out the warranty, not here, because it comes on there straight from the manufacturer. 
I just want to point this out too real quick, okay? What this is, this is going to be your fully enclosed underbelly. I know it's tough to see, but there it is, okay? That, that's going to go all the way from the back, all the way down underneath. That way as you're traveling, it's not going to kick anything up on there. And last but not least, before we head inside, folks, just want to show you, here's your satellite and cable hookup, and this is also going to be solar ready, okay? This is ZAMP powered, um, so all you have to do is just plug this right in here with your ZAMP solar system, boom, you have solar power. All right, if the outside wasn't enough for you, maybe I'll convince you on the inside. Welcome to the inside of the Sport Trek 327. Okay, I love this space, nice and open. We have our opposing slides in here, really opening it up. And you're gonna have nice tall ceilings. Okay, we'll have this skylight in here, letting, open, uh, letting in a lot of natural light. It just looks really great, okay? The galley is gonna have a lot of great features too, a ton of storage. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at this. I mean, look how big that is, guys. We have shelves in there, okay? You can fit stuff in there for days. That's wonderful, all right? Something we always wanna have is a big pantry. Cause I don't know about you, but I like to take a lot of food when I go camping. Okay, we'll have our microwave here. Again, more storage next to that. Okay, great countertop space here. We'll have a fully functional hood with fan and light, our three stove burner with a conventional oven there. All right, and then we're also gonna have storage next to that as well. All right, and if that's not enough for you, Okay, they have a pots and pans drawer. Look at that, nice and deep, okay? I mean, that's it, that's gonna be a deep drawer here. It's gonna go back a long ways, full extension. Put your pots and pans in there, just a great place. Here we're gonna have our Nor Cold fridge and freezer combo. All right, look at that, nice big freezer. Thing I love about Nor Cold is that you have your setting right here for how cold you want it, okay? Easily adjustable. And of course, this is gonna be auto switch over, so you can have it on propane plug it in, it'll switch over to electric for you. All right, again, more great storage here. Okay, you have storage up top, you have a light, you have this little bar, I love this. You can put decorations here. If you have a coffee maker, you can put a coffee maker here, plug it in, okay, that way it's not cluttering up your countertop. Storage underneath, all right, got great storage there. It's gonna be strut assisted. All right, and look at that. All right, more storage. I mean, this galley just has storage for days, guys. Okay, and don't forget our center island. All right, we have good prep surface here. We have a double bowl sink. Okay, it's gonna be split 70-30 there. All right, nice high rise faucet, great for doing dishes. And then in that island itself, okay, we'll have a sponge drawer here. And then nice full bank, a full extension, slide out drawers there as well. All right. Got a good space there for a trash can. All right, something that's always nice to have in your kitchen. Like I say, plenty of storage in this galley. Okay, and this is just half the space. Moving over into our other slide. Okay, here's gonna be our dinette. Now, a thing I like about Sport Trek, okay, is they do make all their own cushions. And so if you look here, this has a very nice pattern on it. But let's say, hey, we're gonna have the grandkids, okay? They're kinda sloppy. We gave them some ice cream. Check that out. Flip it around, we can use the other side. All right, now it's gonna be nice and easy to clean up. Here, I'll put it in this way. You don't have to worry about everything getting stained. Okay, just slides right back in there. And then you can do the same thing with the bottom cushion that will flip over as well. Also, this dinette will drop down. Okay, there's gonna be some rails in here and that this will drop down into a bed. That way, giving you another sleeping area. Also on the side here, okay, where that opens up. We got storage underneath that side. This side here. Does even one better, take that, check that out, right? Got a nice full extension drawer there, nice and easy to access. And here's my favorite part about it. How often in a trailer bunkhouse do you get theater seating? Never, I love this, okay? You know, it, we make a lot of sacrifices for his kids, or for our kids, okay, myself included. But once in a while when I'm camping, I wanna sit down, I wanna relax, I wanna be able to watch TV. And that's what this lets you do. Okay, you have this beautiful theater seating here, a couple cup holders, okay, these both recline. You have, we can store your remotes right in here, all right? And then straight across, I don't have to crane my neck, I get to look at a giant TV. Look at that, 
Okay, beautiful entertainment center. All right, we have our multimedia center down here. That's gonna allow us to, to play DVDs. Okay, we wanna watch a movie, Pff, shoot, throw it in. Have a radio there. We're gonna have a fireplace. I like some ambiance. You know, I, I kinda wanna get the mood going. There's a fireplace for us, okay? Even better, not only does it look pretty, it's actually a heater. You wanna take the chill off, don't wanna use propane? Turn your fireplace on. Up top, got extra storage, okay? Have to have a place to put my DVDs. There it is. I love that, okay? Nice, beautiful picture. This does come with it. I didn't put that there, all right? And then look at this, the bunkhouse. Yeah, the kids get their space too, okay? We have ours, the kids get theirs. Look at this, folks. This is a quad bunk, all right? We, they manage a quad bunk. We have our theater seating. We get an outside kitchen, all right? Bunk here, nice wide bunk up top. We get this area, okay, good place for a TV to go here. I know it's tough to see, but there's gonna be some storage underneath, all right? Oh, you want storage? Sure, there's some storage for you. Kids want some drawers? Yep, we got drawers, all right? Look at that. And then on the other side, you may say, well, Ian, I like having a table in here. Great, check that out. Okay, those are posts for a table. It comes with a table. That way, if everyone can't sit at the dinette or maybe the kids wanna eat back here, okay, serve them breakfast in bed, they can do that right here. You're also gonna get this jackknife sofa. Look, there's our table. Plenty of storage. Our table fits right in there. All right, and right above, the super wide bunk again. Teddy Bear Bunk Series, nice and soft. This lifts up, okay, can lock it in place. Nice and easy there. And you may be thinking, well, geez, Ian, I love it, but I just wish it had more storage. Oh, well, look at that. You got a place to hang clothes. You don't see that often in a bunkhouse. Then you get great shelf space. I mean, guys, there, there's enough room back here for everything. All right, let's go take a look at the bathroom. All right, guys, here in the bathroom, we're gonna have our medicine cabinet. Nice mirror on there so we can check ourselves out. All right, open up, got great storage there. Okay, moving down, we'll have our vanity here. We'll have, uh, of course, our faucet. A couple plug-ins here, all right? That's gonna be important. That way we can hair dry or anything else we need to plug in. We can do that, all right? Storage underneath, good place for bathroom goodies there. And then I love the shower they put in the sport truck, okay? Check out these doors. Boom, open right up. You have this beautiful shower enclosure in here. You get the skylight, letting in a lot of natural light, giving you some extra height, even though the ceilings are huge, all right? You get this uh, extra shower wand in here. It makes it a little bit easier to, to wash off if you need to clean the shower, okay? You get a couple of shelves here. And again, the nice thing about these doors is when you open them, they don't swing open. So there's not gonna be water all over your floor, okay? You open it up, water drips right back off into the basin exactly where you want it. You don't want to have to clean up, right? Okay, moving over here, check that out. All right, great storage there. Okay, plenty of storage. You know, great place to put towels, all our other bathroom goodies. All right, last but not least in the corner, we're gonna have our stool. Plenty of leg room there. All right, I'm gonna go check out the bedroom. Why don't you come with me? In the bedroom of this unit, okay, they do uh, make sure they provide a nice spot to put a TV. You have electrical outlet here, your cable outlet here. That's gonna be one of the beauties of having LED TVs, okay? They're really lightweight, that we can just mount it right on the wall. Also, they provide plenty of storage here, okay? I mean, you have great storage up top, we have storage on the sides, we have storage all the way across the bed, all right? One of the things I really like too about the side storage is it's very deep, all right? Not only does it go in a long ways, it's gonna be uh, very deep from, from top to bottom, okay? That way you can actually put a dress in there, long hanging work shirts, whatever it may be, you're not gonna have to worry about it getting crumpled up. Also underneath that, okay, we'll have nice shelves, great place if, you, if you're like me, like to have a glass of water at night, or, you know, alarm clock, uh, if you have a cell phone, Okay, you can have a plug-in right there. Also, if you have a CPAP machine, you can pop your CPAP machine, plug it in, all right, and you can be on either side of the bed. We're also gonna have a nice, great headboard in here, okay, and then we'll have our queen-size bed here. All right, folks, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for the Sport Trek 327. Um, again, you know, it's a great bunk house. We have that beautiful outside entertainment area slash kitchen. We have our theater seating. We have our TV. Everything you want, this unit's gonna have. If you do have any questions on this unit or you want the absolute best price on one, please either give myself or one of the other great salesmen here at American RV a call. Thanks and have a great day.